Hey you guys, welcome to Kimball's Corner. Uh, so last week I talked a bit about COPPA and the FTC and all that, but when I uploaded that video, they gave the option of choose for child or not for child. And so I read the guidelines because they had a little info thing next to it. And I think I'm gonna be just fine. Like the jargon is a little clearer to me anyway. I don't know if they rewrote it or if I just read it better this time around. Uh, but it's, it's looking pretty good. Um, I mean, they mentioned like if you're talking to a preschooler or doing like really simple how to and that kind of stuff, which I'm not doing. So I think I'm going to be just fine. Uh, if I ever do like cartoon characters or a, like a how to draw Pikachu or something, then yeah, I'll mark that for kids. But the stuff that I normally do, not so much. So today I am going to play with my Jane Davenport mermaid markers. And I had somebody a while back ask me to draw some like facial features. So I was just gonna doodle some mouths and lips, which is the same thing as a mouth. And uh, some eyes, noses, whatever. Uh, just doodle, it's gonna be a relaxing day. It's been kind of a crazy hectic week and I just kind of want to chill. So I'm gonna put some music on, which you won't be able to hear because this will have you know, copyright free music for your listening pleasure. Enjoy you guys.
right, you guys, there we have a few different eyeballs, some lip shapes, some noses. Uh, maybe I will go over and do a little bit of pen work, just to make them stand out a little bit more. Maybe I should dry it first, just to be 100%. All right, that's probably dry enough. And then you can just go back in and refine some of the lines. And you don't have to do the entire drawing, like you can just accent the darkest places if you don't want to redraw the entire thing. I want to use the Micron pens, my little finishing line pens by Jane Davenport. This is the one I use the most. It is the brush number one, I believe is what it's called. I just like it because I can do really fine lines. I can press a little harder and get some thicker lines, but I have a lot more control than I do if I were using a brush. I will say that I did go online to look for some reference photos for these. Oh my God, there were so many like disgusting lip diseases and things. Mistake. I also, I even went to Pinterest. Yes, Pinterest. I never go on Pinterest. And I don't know, just didn't really find anything I liked. So I just thought I would make it all up. It's easier that way because then I don't really know if I'm drawing it wrong. <laughs> I just draw it the way I like, the way it looks. And that is enough for me. I like how the mermaid markers smudge. And it keeps some strong lines and it blurs a lot of the others. Special little thing about them. I just find it to be far more interesting.
All right, you guys, there we go. Some simple features for the face. A nice chill video for today. Just uh, trying to warm up, get my hand and wrist and arm and brain and imagination all loosened up and ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was short and sweet and simple, but it's also fun to just fill a page in your sketchbook with just random doodlies. All right, I will see you guys next Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you wanna, you know, stay in touch and be notified when I uh, upload a video. Take care and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.